evening, everyone, and welcome to um, welcome to the last webinar of the Choose France Tour 2021. Um, welcome to our amazing panel and the entire audience that we have with us today. So um, just before we begin, I would like to inform you that today's thematic is um, learning French, j'apprends le français. And uh, before we start, I'd like to give you a short introduction. So in today's world, learning a new language is not only beneficial, but equally necessary. Thanks to globalization, the world has come closer, opening new avenues and opportunities for one's personal life and professional life. Um, in order to navigate successfully in today's market, the knowledge of a French uh, of a foreign language is definitely a strong asset and makes you stand out from everybody else. Learning languages or any foreign language has a lot of benefits, some of them being better communication, um, some of them being opening opportunities to the outside world and also more career options and job opportunities. French is a really important language to be learned as a foreign language. Um, it's both a working language and the official language of the United Nations, the European Union, UNESCO, NATO, the International Olympic Committee, the International Red Cross, and the International Courts. So a lot of benefits to learning the language. Uh, French is the language also of the three cities where um, the EU institutions are headquartered, which is Strasbourg, Brussels, and Luxembourg. And today we're going to be talking to you about how you can learn this language in France. So um, right before we start, I'd like to introduce you to our amazing panel who is here with us today. The first person on our panel is Mr. Thomas uh, Simoes, who is the director of the Alliance Française of Bhopal. He is going to be talking to us about the Alliance Française network in India and also about uh, why it's important to have a very good uh, basic level of French language before you go to France. He's also going to be telling us about the different levels of um, French offered at the Alliance Française and shortly about the Delph and Delph exams as well. The second and the third panelists that we have with us today are from two schools in France. The first person is Ms. Malika Bezou, who is um, the center director uh, or the center manager of uh, French in Normandy. And the second person is Ms. Sophie Caroline Huisman, who, who is the director of the international relations at ESTP Paris. Uh, both of them are going to be telling us about the FLE programs, the French language programs offered at their schools and the different job prospects or the career opportunities that these programs can prepare you for. So thank you again for being here with us today and a very warm welcome to all of you. So without further ado, I'd like to request Mr. Thomas to please go ahead and begin our webinar. Thank you, thank you, Krusha. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, inviting the network of the Alliance Française to be here tonight with us. Uh, good evening to uh, everyone. I'm gonna share a, a, a short presentation of uh, the Alliance Française network because yes, you're right, Krusha, actually, uh, Learning French can be can be done uh, in France and it can be done before any uh, departure also in India. We have uh, actually a really uh, nice and uh, beautiful uh, network of Alliance Française in India. Uh, so just uh, in order to, to, to begin, just a small uh, uh, history uh, of the network. Uh, uh, the Alliance Française started a long time back in 1883. Uh, and uh, we are now in uh, more than 130 uh, countries. We are a French language center and cultural center, and there is more than 800 uh, Alliance Française all over the world. Following the same, more or less same objective, we are like two main objectives mostly. The first one, which is about French language, as you just said, very important one. And the second one, which is more related to culture. We are also very focused on uh, the artistic development, we like to host exhibition, musical event, we do cooperation between French artists and uh, Indian artists, we do also a lot of local support for them. So this is our two major uh, missions, let's say, right? Then who we are exactly? Well, we are the expert of French teaching in India, right? Like basically the, 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 the network of the Alliance Française in India take you from a beginner level to a fluent level. Right, like we have the best teacher definitely in India, definitely, because they are trained by us, they are highly qualified, highly trained, highly certified, and we have like regular, of course, pedagogical training in order to maintain their, their, their skills, to update their skills nowadays. It's very important, you know, you have seen the evolution of teaching nowadays, you know, like with the online classes and stuff like that, right? The Alliance Forces in India is also very. Uh, old network already in India, right? Because the first 
Alliance Française in India was established more than 100 years ago. It was in 1889 uh, in, the, in the city of Pondicherry. And as you said, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit later, we are the only institution in India who are allowed to organize the official exam DELF and DALF. So in India, we have like 13 Alliance Francaises, 13 main Alliance Francaises, but we have also some annex, which means that we have all over the country 25 Alliance Francaises in India, 25 centers when you can learn French with the best teachers, where you can have access to the certification, official certification of the French Ministry of Education. We usually have uh, around 30,000 students every year in the network learning French with us. Many of them are going then to pursue their, their studies in France. We are, as I just mentioned, the only authorized center to conduct the official examination. We usually organize around 300 uh, cultural events all over the network every year. Well, as you can imagine, last year was a little bit more complicated, even though we had uh, maintain this very important mission for us through uh, dialogue in between writers, to, to, to doing conferences, debates, uh, meetings, you know, a lot of things. And thanks to the presence of many Campus France office in our Alliance Française, we are able together with Campus France to help our students to pursue their studies, their higher studies in France, thanks to your presence in the Alliance Française. Then how does it work? Like briefly, how does it work? It's divided in between levels. In here, I show you only four levels, which are like the fourth, uh, first one, A1, which is the basic and beginner one, A2, B1, B2. A1, A2, we consider that they are the basic knowledge you'll get uh, through those two levels. So for you to complete A1, you will need 100 to 120 hours. Then after that, you can, do and sit for the exam and clear the DELF examination, okay? I mostly insist on this level because this is something we always recommend to our students and also to those people who are asking you in Campus France uh, offices uh, information about higher study in France. We always advise them, even if they are English taught program in France, we always advise them to go for at least the A1 level. Why? Because this is something needed if you want to have a social life, if you want to deal with the administrative life there, right? This is the minimum for you to have a real great experience of France with French people, right? And of course, we have mostly uh, uh, great feedbacks and I'm sure you have just the same feedback from our former students who have been to France and they thank the Alliance Française Network to have taught them French language before going there because of course, it made their life easier than whenever they arrived. Then, uh, A2 level, 120, 150 hours, B1, B2. B1, B2, you become clearly independent. Once you clear the B2 level, you are very in, uh, independent. Then there are two other levels, C1 and C2, where you are like fluent, like a French. Okay? And for all those levels, of course, there is an examination that you can attend and clear. All right? Then, just like I was mentioning before, we are also the best one because we know how to adapt ourselves. And this was one of the main missions we had to face last year. And I think the entire network of the Alliance Française in India did it very well, very, very well, thanks to our uh, big network and the mutual help we have in between each other. So right now we are also online, meaning that even if you are not in one of those cities where there is one Alliance Française, you can still nowadays attend one of our class because we are offering full 100% classes online. You don't need to go in Bhopal to attend a class in Alliance Francaise in Bhopal. You can be from Chhattisgarh and have a class. You can be from other region of India where there is no Alliance Francaise and still register with us. We guarantee you the best French classes you can have in India. So we are using, just like the platform we are using now, we are also using Zoom. We, have our, we are also using our own platform, which is a My Alliance. And we have also, of course, our pedagogical material that we're regularly using in our offline class in the digital version, right? So just for you to have a small uh, uh, preview, sorry, this is a screenshot of our platform, our, our, our uh, 
or um, e-learning platform. So it's kind of social network, let's say like internal social network where basically the students, they have some exchanges with the teacher, they can drop their uh, work, their homework, you know, then they have also uh, some, some work uh, that they can do just by their own outside of the time uh, of the classes, you know, like they have all that kind of thing. So it's very, you know, like there is a time in the class with the teacher with practice and there is also time where they can train uh, by themselves without the teacher being here, right? So then we are talking about the DELF and DALF examination. Yes, this is something I want also to insist. It's very important, at least for me, for two main reasons to do and clear the DELF exam. The first one is like the DELF exam are valid for life. They are lifetime examination, meaning if you clear your A1, you have it for your entire life. It's not like English certification that you need to uh, uh, clear every, I think, three years, if I'm not wrong, or four years, if I'm not wrong, for the DELF examination or the DALF examination, once you clear it, you got it for your entire life, right? And of course, it's an international uh, uh, diploma, international certificate recognized all over the world. And this is one of the main proof that help you to study, to work, to immigrate in other countries, in francophone countries, right? So that's it for me. It was a very short uh, presentation. If you need to have more information, I invite all of you to uh, actually uh, uh, go and visit our website, afindia.org. You'll see there is a map of all the Alliance Francaise. So you, contact, you can contact the one next to uh, you in, in the region where you are. And then we can give you all the information about online classes, how to attend online classes, how does it work and everything. And uh, well, I'll be here if there are any questions for me later on. That's it for me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Thomas, for such an, informa such an informative introduction. So uh, moving on, I would like to um, request Ms. Malika to please uh, you know, introduce your programs and uh, continue the webinar. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for um, for having uh, having us and um, introduce my school, which is called French in Normandy. So, as the name mentioned, we are in Normandy, in the north of France. We are not very far away from Paris, uh, let's say one hundred kilometers from uh, from Paris. So it's very easy to 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 come to our city. Rouen is a very nice city, a human-sized city, which is very um, appreciated by, by students. So um, they are very easy um, integrated in the town and it's very easy to move in the town and all around because the area is really, really uh, nice and, and wonderful. Um, so we are not a big school, we are a little school and uh, we welcome every year, let's say, 2,000 students coming from all over the world. Uh, we have very, uh, uh, we have a big mix of nationalities. So, for instance, Japanese, Mexican, Colombian, Brazilian, um, Africans also, Koreans, sometimes Indians also. So, uh, a wide range of uh, uh, nationalities. So um, we are a uh, label quality flu rec uh, recognized. So it means that we focus mainly on quality. So we want our courses to be um, uh, teach by qualified uh, teachers. So they all have a good experience in teaching flu, uh, French as a um, language, um, French language. So um, it's very important for them because in a group they will, they will have a mix of nationalities. So they know they, they must know how to teach French and they never use English or Spanish or any other language, which is very important because we want our students to practice the more as possible. So um, the, cl the classes will, may, will be run only in French. So it's a very good experience for them. They are, they are, they are the obligation to, to get immersed in uh, the real French life. So um, sometimes they can choose to stay with the host family which give them the opportunity to be uh, in, a, in a real French way of living. So um, it means that um, they, they will learn how to cook French sometimes. They will learn how to live with the French lifestyle. So it's very important for them. Some other students will choose to stay in the studios to be, uh, let's say, more independent and autonomous. So um, it depends what, what the student wants. 
We also have other recognition because we are part of a big group, um, uh, in an international group, which is called International House. So um, it's important for us because we have to, to be the best um, to, to teach. So this, the, the fact that we are a member of this international uh, uh, association give us um, a, a big recognition internationally speaking. So we prepare our students for general French from beginners to high advanced levels. And we, we also prepare them for DELF and DALP, uh, Thomas explained before. So we have, a, um, we have a big success concerning this kind of programs. Many, many students are coming especially to prepare these two exams, DELF and DALP. And last year we had a um, success rate of 90% uh, success rate, which is very good. So all our teachers have the, the, the certification to prepare the exam, so they know what they are talking about, and then they prepare the best as possible uh, our students. Um, we, we saw that there is a big demand for that kind of program, and for the students who especially want to go on their study in France to enter university, uh, universities or special school, it's um, uh, very important to get uh, a very high level of French, so we help them to, to get this, um, this level. Um, most of our stu students are really happy because um, thanks to this preparation because they can speak, they can write, they can understand and um, they, can, they can do many things with them and above all they can, they can succeed in their studies. We also help students to enter universities because we have pathway programs. So um, if a student wants to come and enter universities, we have a um, partnership with some universities in France, like the University of Rouen, of course, and some other universities in France. So um, if a student is interested in uh, go on and study in France, we can help, um, we can help him with, um, with uh, the booking uh, at the, the universities. And we also have spe special uh, partnerships with uh, engineering school like ECGELEC um, and INSA in Rouen. We are, we are working very closely together. So if um, a student is interested in, for instance, uh, let's say information systems and uh, electronic and embedded systems, we can, um, we can help uh, the students to get the right level and then to enter the, the right school. So we know that uh, French administration is not easy. So um, it's, a, it's good for the students to know that we can help them with all the procedures. We can help them with the, the registrations. So um, we are here to help. We have a, a staff dedicated to that. And it's a very, it's a very good, um, good point for them. Uh, moreover, this specific um, preparations for, for, for enter universities or high schools or um, or other specific schools. We have a, a new school in Rouen called Fauchon, which will be open in uh, next year. And we have a special partnership with, with this school. Fauchon is um, specialized in cooking, pastry, etc. So um, it, it will be a very good opportunity for the students who want to enter this school to, to come and study with us and then enter this, this school. So it's not only engineering, but it's also cooking, it can be bakery, um, it can be also architecture. We have a, a, a good school of architecture in Rouen. So all that schools uh, are making a, a big network with French in Normandy, and we are all here to, um, to work together and to prepare the students coming from all over the world to, to enter these schools. So um, in order to, to achieve their goals, we also organize many acti um, cultural activities because learning a language is not only during the class, but it's also when you walk, when you visit, when you have a contact with real French. So um, our school is very open and we organize many cultural activities, events, so um, many meetings with French people, local producers, etc. And in general, the, the, the students are really enjoying this experience because they are with us, we, they can speak, they can meet real French and, and they like it a lot. So um, it gives them the opportunity to practice their French. And even if they are beginners, it's not a problem. They can manage, they can practice um, according to their level. And it's very important for, for them. 
So um, it, it's really important for the students to have um, to have the who have the dream to come to France that um, we are here to help them and they must feel confident about it. All the teachers are really patient and professional and they will all working in the same um, same quality. So we will be very happy to, to welcome them to French in Normandy. And if you have questions after, no problem, I can I can answer. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much, Ms. Ms. Malika. I'm sure that the students found it very useful to know about the different kinds of courses and uh, partnerships that you all have. So uh, moving on, Ms. Sophie Caroline, if you could please go ahead and introduce your schools and programs for the students, please. Uh, you're, you're, you're muted. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us today. Um, so I'm, I'm going to introduce ESTP and EPF, we're, uh, two schools of engineering um, in, in Paris. So uh, in very close to Paris, it's, it's actually in Cachon and in, in, in uh, Sceaux. So. Two schools of engineering that are um, more or less generalists. Um, EPF is, uh, is more generalist than ESTP, which is a little bit more uh, concentrating in civil engineering um, and, uh, build and construction in general. So we decided a while ago, about uh, 20 years ago, to uh, mix these two schools for um, a joint program in FLE, so French language uh, and, and we actually uh, uh, play on words because now it's becoming a French language for engineers. So it is rather uh, for scientists and, uh, and engineering uh, students. But um, we, of course, do um, uh, French. We do teach French for um, generalists uh, objectives and specific objectives. So the two schools, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to um, start with the presentation of the two schools. Um, ESTP in a few figures, it was, uh, it's, it's two schools that are rather old, we, I mean, or ancient. Um, they, they've been set up um, in the, uh, well, actually two centuries ago. Um, we are uh, recognized by the French government and recognized by the CTI, which is the uh, organism that is uh, accrediting uh, the, the degrees, the engineering degrees. And uh, for that reason, uh, we um, accommodate or we welcome about 15% of international students. So it, it has to be um, it has to be officially uh, recognized, um, and in, in that in that way we have the uh, label quality. I mean the quality label, which is called the label qualité de fleu. Uh, I will come back to it. So in you could find us in the rankings as the um, as part of the UPE University Paris at East um, as we form as we. Uh, we gather. We are gathered in a in a community um, uh, network. Uh, oops, sorry. EPF um, has a unique history as well. Uh, founded in in 1925 in Sceaux, and originally it was kind of uh, innovate, innovating because it was uh, rather for uh, women, women. It was training women. It is not the case anymore, and it's mixed, of course. And um, as you could see, um, the uh, the rate of uh, female is, is rather uh, important, considering significant considering the uh, the engineering schools uh, actually worldwide, I guess. So now back to our um, Miss Sophie Caroline. Can I just request you to put it on slideshow so it's bigger for the students that are watching on the mobile oh, app? Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of no course. problem. <laughs> I hope it's better for everyone now. Thank you. Now, now, now I can do that because I, <laughs> I was lost with the uh, history uh, slides. But now you can, you have a, a, a huge um, uh, crowd of uh, international students coming into the summer. So we have um, we have a program that is uh, spread over this over ten weeks during the summertime, or uh, during the full academic year. So basically, we encourage students that have um, the opportunity to come to study in France 
whether it is for engineering schools or for universities, uh, we encourage them to come first during the summertime and then, uh, and then to continue uh, with, the, with their school. So uh, again, this is, oops. Uh, this was uh, what I was telling you about the label, the label qualité fleu, the quality label. It's important for, um, for both schools, but for uh, specifically for students that, uh, that are joining the, uh, the program and for professors. So that that um, that um, suggests that we uh, that we train our professors that are that they have all the uh, the ability to teach in French, of course, and and they have the certifications that uh, that that are um, good for um, for teaching French and to teach French with uh, specific objectives. We have, um, I mean, it, it means that we have the campuses that are. Um, well welcoming to international students as well as French students um, and uh, the, um, the ability to um, to uh, manage these uh, these uh, international students these are the people that have uh, that are involved in the uh, in the French language and international departments Stéphane Seller and myself uh, Magali Boutiot is the head of French uh, as a foreign language department and the two assistants that, that are helping out. Um, again, same thing during the summer and uh, during the year. We welcome about 500 students every, every year between the summertime again and, and the academic year and about uh, 30 participating countries. Um, and we we, ha we, we actually don't have uh, mentioned Indians, but uh, we, we do welcome Indian students. And we have actually a, um, a, a prep year um, with a, at, in Sri Lanka, uh, which will, um, it's pretty recent. So it will bring up uh, some uh, Sri Lankan students uh, in the next few years. Um, the intensive program um, during the summertime is divided into two modes, uh, the online mode, which is recent, obviously, we, uh, we started that last year, last summer, because we couldn't welcome people, um, students on the campus, and we have the online, the uh, on campus experience. Both of them are 20 to 25 hours per week, um, again, spread between four to eight eight to 10 weeks, starting from mid-July till the uh, mid-September. So we have a French language course, we have scientific French language, uh, we have phonetics, uh, speaking and role-playing, we have cultural activities. Uh, even on, on the online program, we had vir virtual experiences last year, uh, visiting museum and things like that. Well, wine tasting will not be a <laughs> will not be feasible online but uh, we have some um, some fun um, some fun activities and um, and French tutoring sessions which means that uh, it this is really um, uh, well based on the students needs and really uh, personalized to uh, to every student and then we have games theater playing project based uh, learning uh, in French which makes the which makes the, uh, the learning um, a little bit more fun. <laughs> uh, the online program, again, 20 hours per week, um, including the cultural activities. We figured that the students may not be able to uh, focus and to be concentrated at long, uh, I mean, uh, for a long, for a, a period that is um, lo long, um, 25 hours a week uh, on campus. So we shortened it a little bit, uh, shortened the experience with the, with the uh, online version. And then um, the, we, the yearly experience would go from uh, one to two sessions a week, which is from two to four hours per week uh, for during the first semester, second semester. And this all depends on the need of the students because they uh, are obviously uh, evaluated, their level of French is evaluated at the very beginning and then along the way. Um, and the, the idea is to make them pass their uh, TFI uh, uh, test at the end. 
um, so the, uh, the the grades or at least the uh, the level is again evaluated towards the uh, CFR um, um, uh, uh, reference in language, and then um, they do uh, validate certificate of participation and ECTS uh, towards their uh, university in France or back uh, in in their country. And, um, and they have the possibility to take the TFI, the French exam, at the end of the summer or at the end of the semesters, according to what they choose. These are the schools. Um, same as Malika said, uh, we have a few uh, partners in, in France, and we not only uh, gather students that are joining ESTP or EPF as engineering schools, but we do have some other students that are joining other universities or other schools. Sijelec is one of them as well, not mentioned in this slide, <laughs> um, a, fr a friend in school. So you could see that uh, we have a mix of, uh, of great uh, university, great schools. And, and the purpose of uh, gathering all students on one campus the way we do it is that we have uh, a mix of um, students, a mix of backgrounds, and, and students rather prefer to be um, all together <laughs> on one campus rather than spread um, in their schools, so it's the uh, the advantage of gathering them uh, before they are uh, spread uh, over different uh, schools. So these are the uh, the summer the summer 20, uh, 2018 participants, um, and uh, and as you can see, it's uh, usually uh, <laughs> sunny on on our campus during the summertime, which is uh, which is nice. Uh, students can have their um, their weekend off, of course. So main uh, the main activity during the the, the weekends is, is tourism in in Paris, obviously, or in surrounded uh, areas. And Normandy is is not far, indeed. Um, here you go. You have the uh, the email address of Magali Boutiou, who's the head of the department, and and you could definitely uh, email her um, as as soon as you have questions. So. Same thing, uh, we're ready to answer the questions in the chat or here, of course, in a minute. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ms. Sophie Caroline. That was super useful. Um, so while, uh, while everybody was presenting um, you know, their schools, we got a few questions in the chat box. So I have some of them here and um, I can ask them to the panel and then whoever is comfortable to answer, please go ahead and do so. So the first and a very relevant question that we got was, what is the admission criteria of um, you know, getting into a program at your school? And will there be an interview if they have to get into a French language program? Uh, should I answer first? Um, the, <laughs> sorry, Malika. Uh, I'll, I'll let you continue for the second one. Um, usually, usually students do do need to um, to get uh, a, a little interview or at least uh, some exchanges uh, by email uh, to see what their program will be and what their intention is. But they do not have uh, to. Um, I mean, there's no requirement for their level. Uh, it could be beginner level. It could be advanced level. Uh, I mean, it's it's really uh, to all all levels, of course. And if there's a C1 or C2 levels, then, then the week the number of weeks for studying will be less than the A1, A2, obviously. But no, there's no uh, there's no requirement in that matter. As as Sophie Caroline said, it's the same for for us. There is no minimum level required. We, what is important to say is that we accept beginners every Monday. So um, even if you are beginners, if you want to, to start any Monday of the year, you can, you can begin. So no requirements uh, needed. So that's a positive point. Thank you so much. So another really interesting question that we got right, right now in the chat is, what are the job opportunities uh, available for a person who has completed a French course in France? So it's, it's a little broad, but if you can give them a little overview of that. Um, if I can answer, um, so sometimes we have students who are coming and say, ask this question, oh, I want to have a, a little job, what can I do? So 
in general, um, except during this period, but uh, apart from that, they can they can work sometimes in restaurants and um, or in bars. So we have students who, who came and uh, it was two years ago. One of uh, our Colombian students um, had a, a job in a in a pizza restaurant. So he was working every every evening and during the weekend. So. Um, um, sometimes that's the, the easiest way to, to get a job and it's a very good experience for their French level. So sometimes it can be a, a good thing for them, a good opportunity. And, and if I can also add something, uh, completing a French uh, course also gives them opportunities once they come back in India. We have a, a numerous uh, amount of uh, French uh, companies based in India, I don't remember exactly the name, but I think it's around like 1,000, something like that, if I'm not wrong. And of course, uh, for all those people who know French, it's a real plus for their curriculum, definitely. Also, if I may add, you know, apart from the part-time jobs that students can do while uh, learning a French course in France, and also apart from coming back to India and working here, um, some very, um, you know, general career paths that a lot of students take who have studied French is uh, they go into the teaching domain, they start teaching the language um, at the Alliance Française once they reach a certain level and have a degree. And apart from that, they can also do translation and interpretation. So these are a few domains that you can get into if you do study uh, the French language. And um, it's, it's definitely a lot better to study it in France because of the immersion that you will have there in the culture. So um, another uh, another really good question we had was, um, when can we give the DELF and DALF exams? Is this open throughout the year? Alors, not exactly. We have an agenda for that with uh, different sessions all over the years. So uh, there is a calendar of uh, session for uh, two public, so for the adults, and there is also session for junior because we also offer the same examination, but for uh, 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 younger uh, candidates. So there is, uh, yeah, there is like four or five sessions. Well, we have a little bit more this year due, due to coronavirus last year. So we have a little bit more session uh, uh, open for uh, the forthcoming year. And so uh, this is available in all the Alliance Francaise Center all over India for the ones who want to attend the exam. Sorry, if I may add also, yes. it's not Go ahead. online examination. It yeah. cannot be online, right? It is offline. We are allowed now to uh, host uh, candidates in our premises to attend these examinations. Thank you. Um, so another question that we've got multiple times in the chat box is, um, does knowing French improve our chances of getting selected for a master's in a university? So if I may answer this, um, yes, uh, you, I mean, not, not really. If, you're, if your course in France is taught in English, then usually the school does not have a requirement to speak a certain level of French to get an admission. But as all of our panelists mentioned, um, you know, for a better social life, for better uh, integration into, um, into like the society there, as well as for uh, internships, part-time jobs, uh, French is definitely uh, really, really useful. And uh, I think one of the panelists did mention that having at least an A1 or an A2 is definitely beneficial while you're there. So um, it's, it's super useful to do that, but just to get selected for a master's, um, which is taught in English, usually no, it's, it does not uh, really improve your chances. So um, another question that we got was um, about the, the recognition of the certifications. So are these certifications um, recognized globally? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Internationally. <laughs> Thank you. And um, I think maybe we can take one or two more questions apart from that. Um, so another student asked that um, at what level of um, you know, French or at what proficiency, um, proficiency level um, can somebody expect uh, to speak of, you know, communicate fluently with others in the language? So which level would be required for that? To, to have an interaction with, with yes. French people? I think yes. that B1 is the, the intermediate level. So um, it's true that A1, A2, you can survive, no problem. Um, but if you want to, to have a, a, a more interesting conversation with people, I think that B1 is, um, is good enough. 
Mm. I don't know the point of view of Thomas and Sophie Caroline. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that it, it all depends uh, whether you want to study in French or, or not. Uh, of course, if it's just to get around uh, the city and uh, this B1 is, is definitely good enough. Uh, we usually require to, to uh, study in French, we usually require a B2 level. Yeah. But yeah. If, if you follow, um, and just to add a little bit to your answer, uh, Kosha, um, if, you, if you want to uh, follow a, a master uh, in, in, that is taught in English, we still require, most of the French schools still require uh, at the end and to get the degree a, a minimum level of French, and it, it would be a B2 level. Right, so that is uh, at, that is at the time of graduation, not at the time of Correct. admission. Exactly. Yes. This okay. is why they would take uh, French language around, I mean, along their studies. Yes, thank you. Um, so another really interesting question that we got about translation courses is, um, is it mandatory to speak three European languages if you want to do a course on translation? I, I can't. I can't answer. I don't have the answer to that question. <laughs> Maybe Thomas, Sophie, Caroline. Me neither. Honestly. Me neither. But I don't <laughs> think so. It, it all depends whether you want to translate just one language. Then you just need two languages. <laughs> I wouldn't say three. Right. And um, another question that we got was, if a candidate has already completed the C2 level or will complete the C2 level, and then after that is not interested in doing a master fleur. What are the other options that this candidate has to do after a C2? Well, you know, there are many, many options. So yeah. with a C2, you can do almost everything. It depends on the interests of the person. I mean, I'll, I'll let uh, uh, the, 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 the other panelists here to answer. That, then it's not a question of uh, language level. Then it's a question of uh, other disciplines <laughs> level. Yeah. Um, but I would say that C2 is definitely uh, uh, the, the, the max, I mean, the, the minimum, you could, I mean, the, the maximum, the minimum, whatever um, you, you have to, uh, to study uh, anywhere in France. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. There's no barrier at this stage. Right. So um, a recent question that we got in the chat box is, I think, and this is the last one that we'll take, um, what is the level required to become a French teacher, to teach French? Mm. Uh, Good question. Uh, I, I would say that the, the minimum would be C1. C1. We, we have many um, Swiss, Swiss students coming uh, to, to, to get a DALF, and uh, in their country, uh, C1 is required to, to become a French teacher, but definitely minimum. And, and the, the most important thing is um, to come to France to have the real experience of French life, because to get the most as possible of cultural aspects and points, uh, so that after they can they can teach their students. So I think that's the most important thing in, if you want to become a French teacher, to have the real uh, way of thinking French and the way of living French. So. And also, if I may add, yeah. a, a, a pedagogical training. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. You know, yes. How to speak yeah. French without yeah. uh, being a teacher, uh, you know, that's also yeah. another thing. So you can have a good uh, level of French and uh, not knowing how is it to teach because teaching yes. a career, it's a studies, uh, you know, it's a training. So mm -hmm. also this one so is... I think I'm so sorry. I think we're going to, I think the, the session might end. So I just wanted to conclude by saying thank you so much to everybody who's been here and answered all of these different questions. For all the students who are here, um, all the three schools that are mentioned here, the Alliance Francaise, uh, French in Normandy and ESTP, all of them have booths uh, on the show floor. So for ESTP and French in Normandy, they have their uh, booths at the French language level, as well as the Alliance Francaise is there uh, at the French language, as well as as a partner. So please go ahead, visit their booth and ask them all of the questions that you have. So um, wishing everybody a lovely evening. Thank you very much for being here.